It's your boy, Tyler Odin. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a double meta refresh to hide your referral source for your affiliate links. And if you don't know what affiliate.watch is, we're a platform that lists the best referral and affiliate programs out there. Let's get down to it. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys my code today and show you what this does. So basically, you have your meta tags in your head tag. And what this is gonna do, say I have a YouTube video about SiteGround and I wanna refer people to SiteGround, but I don't know, I don't want SiteGround to know where the traffic is coming from. I would have this as my, my site. So let's just say I have example.com, okay? And this would be a page on example.com. And you put meta, and I will leave this below, http dash equiv equal refresh, content zero means how many seconds and then you put your URL so in this case we would put the site ground affiliate link okay and now every time we send traffic to this page what it's gonna do is it's gonna do an instant refresh and then send to this specific URL and since it went to this page example.com site ground is gonna see the traffic is either from nothing or it's from example.com instead of seeing it's from YouTube and uh, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like and there's different ways to do this but this is the most bulletproof way but the only con of this way is it is gonna take a second to load and then it's gonna send however it's just about one second so it's not gonna take much time um, Amazon and some affiliates may not approve of doing this, uh, but I think most affiliates have no problem with it. And at the end of the day, guys, you need to protect your traffic sources because that's your money. One time I had a company, I'm not gonna mention names, but it's listed on here, and I was making quite a lot of money uh, from them on their affiliate program. And their growth manager figured out how I was doing it because I was not hiding my traffic source. And once their growth manager figured it out, he went and just copied it, you know, so he could probably get a promotion by his boss. But he took my hard work and just straight copied it and ripped me off. And now I make barely anything from that affiliate program where I once made a lot of money. So that's why I wanted to learn this. Um, let me show you how my code actually looks like just to give you guys a better example of how a website could do this uh, So let's get to the router so the router handles what pages load my I, I code in PHP on my back end and then use JavaScript and Vue on my front end and so basically if you go to my website and You hover over a URL Let me show you We'll just click copy link location so you guys can see. But you see it says affiliate.watch slash go and then slash the company. So anytime we get traffic here, we're gonna then you know call our affiliates class, get that affiliate from the database, and then we're gonna check if it has an affiliate link. If it has an affiliate link, we're gonna set that as the outbound URL and the outbound variable, which you'll see in a second. We're going to add a click and a view to the analytics and then we're going to load the header file that is going to have that refresh meta tag and we're going to load the go file. All the go file is, the go file is just what does that cool loading icon for me right in the middle of the page. I would recommend just doing a loading icon so the user knows what's going on. And then in the header file, this is where it's real good. We check because I did not want to create two headers because I just want this to be a dynamic website. So I just check if we have that go in the URL. And if we do, then I add that code I talked about earlier with the outbound URL, which is the affiliate URL. I also added this tag called the name refer tag and sent it to no refer. I do not know if I just added this just to be even more bulletproof. I, I don't think you have to do this. I tested with Chrome, Mozilla, Internet Explorer, and Oprah with just this, and it worked fine. So, yeah, that's how you guys do it. I will leave uh, this simple link 
or this simple line of code down in the description so you can paste it into your header section and that's all you do guys is you just set this set it to the URL and then it will hide your referral it's the most hundred percent bulletproof way to work because it will work with bots it will work with uh, users who have JavaScript users who don't have JavaScript because if you rely on any JavaScript way then for example Google's crawlers or somebody who has JavaScript blocked or maybe some type of ad blocker will not let that refresh go through so doing it the HTML way this is the most native way to do it and it is really bulletproof guys even in 2018 I would highly recommend doing this if you have any uh, stories below how you got your traffic sources ripped off or if you think this is a bad idea and affiliates do not allow this and you've had problems with that also let me know down below um, I just wanted to share my knowledge with you guys help you guys make more money because this is what my channel is about making money affiliate marketing so make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to also check out affiliate.watch and like comment down below i appreciate you guys watching and have a great day